Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going over a couple of cool 579s for crossroad carriers. We got Jode and Davi here. They're the guys that are gonna be driving these super awesome 579 ultra lofts. And we've done some pretty cool stuff to them. Yeah, done a visor, uh, cabin sleeper panels, center panel. In the back, yep, light up and, mud flap hangers. Yeah, and replaced the sleeper lights. Yep, uh, we put them in red. That was yeah. it. Yep. Did you say, did you say the window chops? Oh, window chops. And window chops. Anyway, we're going to flip the camera around, show you guys these trucks, because uh, these guys are ready to go, and uh, we're holding them up. So we better just get after yeah. it. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. We got two Ultra Law 579s here, and uh, we'll walk around and show you these things. These are 2023 model 579s. They're, uh, I believe these are a 250 wheelbase, maybe a 240. Um, Cummins Power. It's got the Eaton Auto Shift in it, 13 speeds. And uh, they're pretty sharp. I mean, they're really nice for a fleet truck inside and out. Um, I don't know, going over the first thing, so let's go with the visor. What did you think about the visor, Shock? Hey, it went on pretty easy. It's, it's a nice there. visor. They fit on there pretty good. You know, when we first got these things out of the boxes, it was like as big as a freaking surfboard. Yeah, it is very huge. And you're like, uh, I don't know how this is going to look, but once the visor is actually on the truck, it fits it really well. And then, uh, and it's got the penny lights up top. It's super sharp. Um, we did these light bars we mounted on the, uh, I don't know what you would call this panel. It's like the transition panel between the hood and the door. That's what we're going to call it. Sounds good to me. I like that. It sounds professional. But their uh, front and rear lights kind of gives you, simulates like a, you know, a breather light going down the road. And then we did, uh, who made these? Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Two inch cabin sleeper panels. Yep. And then, uh, they're just, I mean, it's like with a black truck, that little bit of chrome always does so much for them. Yeah, I like how they curve around the sleeper Around the light. cab. Yeah, they, they fit really well. And then back here, in the back of the sleeper, we got uh, we just swapped those out with uh, United Pacific uh, red lens lights. And then got our uh, what we've deemed this as the uh, shiny hiney. <laughs> Still think it's like a silly name. Yeah, it is. It's shiny, though. <laughs> it's sh but it's shiny. But, yeah, so that's uh, United Pacific uh, parts there. So that's uh, center panel and, and the light-up mud flap hangers. This truck at night, I wish we didn't get any – I don't have any video of them lit up, but they do light up really good in the evening. They'll look great when they get – these guys pull reefers. So these things will be uh, – these things will look really good going down the road. And probably the other really cool thing about the truck is – the inside of the freaking sleeper is massive. Yeah, you can like jump around and whatever you want to do. Them. You can legit have a party in here. We'll, uh, we'll open the door and show you the inside of this thing real quick. All right, so getting in this dude, you can tell it has got all kind of room. I mean, this thing's uh, humongous. Yeah, I love the windshield on it. You can just see everything. It's, it's, it, you can definitely see everything. The visor works good even from the inside. So, like, you know, the factory visor doesn't really do much in terms of, like, covering any of the windshield. And as big as this windshield is, and as big as that visor is, it really doesn't take up much of the windshield at all. It, it works really well. But, uh, you know, the thing's pretty cool. It's got a few of the gauges and all those things. Uh, typically, in, like, a fleet truck, you wouldn't even see, like, gauges and, and things like that. 
uh, as much as you do in these. And then, you know, back here, here, hold the camera. I want to show them how big this thing is. So I'm standing up in here and I'm almost six feet tall and I still can't touch the ceiling in here. I mean, it's freaking humongous. So it's a double, it's a double sleeper, um, a double bunk sleeper. So there's another bed right here. This deal flips down. That makes a full bed. This little, this little guy here is actually a ladder and it pulls out and it sits down on the floor so you can climb up and get into the bed there. And then you got your bed here and then storage underneath it. Um, and you got a few little storage things there. And it's got room so you can put a television in here, a uh, microwave if you want to. Uh, you can do a fridge down here. So those are all things that they typically, typically It's got a add. fridge over here. Oh, look, I didn't even, I, oh, look at that. You can put two fridges in it then. I'm just trying to make up for my mistake right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could put a, you could put a, put a sub box in there. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, sub box is good. You got a fridge. Pretty cool little, uh, there we go. And you got a whole little, like that's pretty nice because you could put like canned goods or something down in there or stuff you needed, like cooking utensils maybe. I don't know, kind of cool. And uh, yeah, other than that, like this thing is as big as a camper. It's kind of neat. So yeah, there's a, uh, there's my little bit of what I don't really know about these things, but I mean, we covered, you know. Yeah, and also another favorite thing alongside the windshield is the cup holder. Plate. You like the cup holder, yeah. which is uh, very true. So like on a 3D9, it's like way over here. And if you want to use that cup holder, it's like when you're driving, you got to like reach way down there and get it. Uh, that one's actually pretty and, close. And you only got so far on the 3D9s. Yep. You know, this one you can have like a giant drink you know. <laughs> you know those ones you get like when you go to uh big gold yeah no i was thinking like when you go to uh uh like mardi gras you see those oh, people walk around yeah, those like those tower guys. things although yeah, you can carry one of them around you can it would fit the cup would fit in there and you got all the room but yeah there's the inside of this gang the you know on the the window chops they don't cover up a whole lot of the window um and they're paint we painted them inside and out and they they fit well like i mean overall like it's a pretty cool truck. All right, so under the hood of this thing, you'll kind of notice off of like a 3D9 stuff, there's a, it's a pretty big difference. Um, you know, like on a 3D9, the air, the air takes over here and they kind of run over and they go down the turbo. This one gets it from the top of the hood. It's got this box that seals up to the back of the hood right there uh, where it pulls in cold air. It's pretty cool. Um, X15, I don't know. I can read this what horsepower rating these are i believe these are 525s and 1850 torque um you know the windshield washer is a lot easier to fill up on this oh that is nice <laughs> it's just right there yeah there's disc brakes on it spring ride front end definitely different compared to the 389s we mostly work on how was it like so i didn't really help y'all put these together but like putting all the parts on pretty simple deal oh yeah yeah it's uh i don't know maybe a little easier than a 389 yeah not the same but overall pretty cool trucks i think we got to just kind of quit with this because i think these dudes are like they're literally waiting on us to be done with this video so they can get out of here. They got a long drive to California. So we're going to, going to close this hood up and, uh, gonna call it a day. All right, guys, that's it for the video. It's kind of super rushed. We had to like, uh, yeah, we had to do this. I had to hurry up. They want to get on the road. <laughs> they got a long ride. It's like, I don't know. It's like almost 3000 miles probably to California. Yeah. So, uh, they're getting on the road, but overall, I mean, for an aero truck, a 579 ultra loft, these things are pretty cool. Just that yeah. little bit we did to it. Yeah, I like them. I mean, you could have a party in that thing. It is freaking huge in there. Yeah. But anyway, guys, tell us what you think. What do you think about the 579s? And uh, also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Semi Casual Show. Uh, like and subscribe to him. <laughs> yeah, the little bell buttons and all that, and do that thing. And, uh, you know, we'll see you in the next video. Later.